Hi guys, this is Blue Venom coming at you with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you a guide you help, on the best money-making method that I found in Red Dead Redemption 2 online. Basically, the very first thing you want to do when you spawn in is pick an area like New Hanover or Lemoyne, anywhere on the side of the map. Am Amarino would work because you ultimately want to sp uh, fast travel over to the big ticket which is tumbleweed you're going to come over to tumbleweed it'll cost you like ten dollars maybe twelve depending on where you're located when you spawn in and uh, but don't worry about that money you're going to double that money in the very first run now after you get to tumbleweed you're going to want to head over to chala springs area and go right above the O. You'll see this little hilltop. <coughs> Excuse me. You'll see this hilltop, and this is the location you're going to want to go to. This is a cougar hunting expedition. But the thing about this one, it's not very far from the butcher shop either. But the good thing about this one is that you will be actually hunting three different animals, and they're all good money. Now, I don't know why that guy's got a problem, but anyway, you're going to sell everything at the butcher shop right here in Tumbleweed. Um, it doesn't really take that long, anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes, depending on what you're trying to do and what you're going for and how much money you're looking for, you know. This one's going to take a little longer than that because I'm actually going to give you locations of every animal that you're looking for and why you want them and where you can find them now right here usually you're gonna find a a bird called a California condor that's a raven um, sometimes you'll find a, a turkey vulture that'll be sitting on top of this barn right here on top of this bridge uh, he'll spawn there 40% of the time he's not always there he pops up every now and then but he's worth some money too. But this California condor is one bird you definitely want to hunt down. And he'll be in two or three different spots. I'll show you though. Another one will be a big horn ram. Which usually he's up here on this hill. There he is right there. The desert big horn ram. I'm not going to shoot him right now. We'll come back and get him on the, on the, on the way back. There's a pronghorn out here. There's some Baja California pronghorns, and you'll also, if, if this big horn ram ain't up here on the hill, then you'll see him right in front of this mountain. He'll be hanging out by these rocks right here on the bottom side of this mountain. So that's an animal you definitely want. You want These are all ravens. If you see in groups of two or three, usually they're ravens. The California condor that you'll be uh, searching for will always be alone. It'll be a big bird. You can't miss. I don't happen to see one right now, but maybe on the way back we can see one. That's another raven. Yep. Matter of fact, there he is right there, I believe. This is the bird you're actually looking for. I don't like it when they spawn up on the mountain, but it is what it is. And you actually want the perfect scenario is to get two of these. You get two of these birds and get a good shot on them. Six feathers right there will pay you nine dollars just for the feathers by himself. Not to mention the carcasses like two, I believe it's two fifty or two seventy five. We'll check out the prices and make sure once we go to sell them. We want to load this horse up, so it depends on how quick you want to do it, and you know you can do it very fast. I've done several runs of five and six minutes, you know, and I'll make thirty, thirty-five dollars in five or six minutes, which is excellent money for this game. I've done the hunting, I've done the fish, you know, all the fishing money-making methods out there. I've done the pig when in Valentine when they were paying five seventy-five, but this is actually better than that. 
Uh, I, I've gone from point A to point B, from all the way to this spot that you're going to be hunting the cougar, all the way to the butcher in a minute and a half with a loaded horse. If you want to run your horse that hard, you know. If you these um, iguanas, you'll you'll always see iguana either right here or right here on the side. They're abundant out here. I try to kill one or two if I can't find the birds. If the bird, like at nighttime, the birds don't spawn really. So I'll go for these iguanas. And they add up. They'll pay a dollar or two for each one. And it's hard not to get a perfect skin with the iguanas. They're just so easy to kill with a varmint. I'll go ahead and pick this guy up and store him on the. Uh, one dizzy here. Now for the cougar spawn, I'm going to show you the three areas I've always seen them in. They'll either spawn right around this hill top right here, right in front of this hill, or they'll spawn over here in this area. But 80% of the times, they'll spawn where my mark is. But I'll always come up to this hill. And 80% of the time, you'll see the cougar spawn right here in this area. He'll he'll be in like between these two bushes, that bush there and this bush here. Now there he there he is right there. The cougar's coming, all hot and bothered. I'm gonna try to get a quick shot on him. Come on, Dizzy, get over here, boy. Don't make me run to you. Okay, he's a perfect cougar pelt. That's what we like to see. That's where you make the most money, of course. So, I like to have three or four pelts on my horse. It takes a little bit longer. Sometimes it turns into a seven minute to a nine minute run, you know. I'm not in a big hurry on this run. I'm just trying to give y'all a real good guide of everything and what you're looking for and where they're going to be spawning. So it'll be faster on y'all for sure. And what do we got here? A desert iguana. I may go ahead and skin them, but I've already got both sides of my horse have been stored already. They're full. So I can't pick them up other than just skin them, put it in my satchel. But every little bit adds up. And I'm still going to look for a couple of pronghorn. Here, this is the area. I promise you can make some really good money here. Better than fishing. I love fishing in this game, but you'll make more money doing this than you will fishing. The butcher's not far away. But I'll tell you the best thing about it is, check this out. No griefers. Nobody trying to fuck with me. Nobody still in my stealing my kills, trying to come over here and shoot my horse out from under me or anything. I've been doing this for probably a week now, a week and a half, 40, 50 runs, and I've never once had a guy come over here and, and F with me. People just don't like hanging out and tumbleweed much. If they do, they're in and out. Alright, there's pronghorns over here. I definitely want to get a couple. Uh, it's great if you can get a, a perfect shot on one of these animals. I usually mess those up though. If I'm honest, I usually get four carcasses on the pronghorn. Because I just come in here blazing. Put like 45 shots in one, you know, damage a pelt all the hell. Because I just throw it on there. It's just icing on the cake for me, you know. Uh, a damaged carcass, poor condition, pays like 80 cents. It's not much, but if you get two or three of them, hey, there's a couple more bucks for you to add with all your other goodies. The money maker is definitely the cougar and the California condor and the big horn ram. That's your three that you're after. I got $399 and I haven't sold nothing yet, so we'll see how much I make on this run. But if you want to make, you know, the... 35 40 45 50 dollars you load your horse up man take your time you know make it a seven eight minute ten minute run even it doesn't matter it'll be worth it fifty dollars forty five dollars in ten minutes i'm down with that all day 
Now there's a big horn ram. I'm gonna try to get a good shot on him. Oh, you would duck. <laughs> I don't know how good a shot that was. I had a good shot lined up and then he went down the, the graze on some grass or something. I just barely got him, but it was a kill shot, so maybe I got lucky and got a good carcass here. I won't be able to take the carcass, I mean skin. Now if you're going ho, you could actually pick this guy up, because he pays good too. He's like, I think for a good one you get like world dollars and some odd cents. If it's in perfect condition, I don't even, I can't even remember what it's worth. Uh, this was a perfect one. You could actually run him back to the to the butcher if you wanted to and you know I may just do that just to show you it's not that far of a run it's good money he's in perfect condition I need the exercise I'm just gonna run him back the reason another reason it was taking so long because I was stopping and showing you which animals spawn where and why you want it trying to give you all the ultimate guide to the best money making method right here and it's also good you got a store right there you got ammo right there you can always reload no problem and you see I got three hundred ninety nine dollars now let's see what we're gonna get here okay uh, for a perfect ram carcass six dollars and seventy five cents so for me that was worth a jog didn't take me two minutes to run it over here um, 275 so that's good money just for the ram itself. All right, let's go ahead and sell. I got three ninety-nine. Let's see what we're gonna walk away with here. All this adds up, and this is very good bank right here for what little we did. Didn't take that long. Of course, being a tutorial, it's gonna take a little longer than what I would normally run it in condor feather dollar fifty a pop there's four fifty that's why I would love to get two I would have had nine bucks just for the feathers alone three sixty for the meat uh, forty five cents for the flight feathers not great but all right perfect iguana skin a dollar fifteen game bird meat twenty five cents add it up Eagle feathers, I already had it, so I'm not going to sell that because I don't want to add money that I didn't have. I'm not trying to beat this pocket. This is what you can expect. 60 cents for that. You get so. the meat off of the rams. The eagle talons I already had, so I'm not selling that. This meat is from the iguanas, gila monster, 75 cents. Let's sell that. And of course the cougar fang, we can sell that. Now these three items I already had. The eagle feather, the eagle talons, and animal fat. So we will not be selling that. I don't want to. And look at there. So we walked away with forty-six dollars profit in just one trip. I made forty-six dollars, uh, and I took my sweet ass time doing it to show you all the locations, the spawn, and everything. This is the perfect money right here. Forty-six dollars, and you can do it in ten minutes or less. Once you know, now that you know the area and everything you're looking for. And that's it, folks. $46, 10 minutes, you can't beat it. And if you got a second horse, you doubled your money. You're walking away with $80, $90. And if I would have had everything in perfect, perfect carcasses and perfect skins, you could walk away with $100 if you got two horses, if not. I could have walked away with fifty dollars plus and this one run do this two or three runs then go do whatever you want to do that's a damn good way to build your bank account up i got forty six extra dollars here in one run and i'm going to end the video there it's already long enough i apologize about the length of it but i wanted to give you all the ultimate guide and i'm going to go do some more hunting if this video helps you in any way shape or form you find it interesting and you agree it's a good money maker uh, I would appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button slap a like down on the video so I can continue to make these and I want y'all to have a great day and we'll catch you in the next one thank you